Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbinalcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK for 15% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be telling you guys about the Team of the Year promo, what you guys can expect to see from Team of the Year, when it's going to be coming out and maybe some things we'll see. I will say though, I will be doing a Team of the Year player prediction video for you guys maybe tomorrow. I know that we have got two weeks of Team of the Week coming up on Tuesday so maybe I'll wait until after Tuesday because I don't want to have the Team of the Week prediction video. And the team of the year prediction video and then they drop like some of those players in team of the week so we're gonna have to see and wait for that but you guys may not know it the team of the year promo is actually coming out very very shortly last year it actually did drop i believe on january 14th so be on the lookout that's why i'm trying to tell you guys right now you know we just got a bunch of playoff players and we're maybe going to get like some more players in the next week or so we're gonna get some legends get whatever else I would not necessarily be picking up any players because the Team of the Year promo introduces a lot of really good players and sometimes can cause a market crash depending on how good the actual promo is. But with that being said, let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what we may see with the Team of the Year promo. So I'm over on Madden 19. I'm going to show you guys exactly what we got last year. And also, I'm going to show you guys all the players that we got last year. And I want to tell you a couple things that I think we could potentially see change from last year to this year and maybe some things you guys may want to take a look at to repair. But with the Team of the Year promo, something that's really, really big is obviously, if you guys don't already know about this, if you've played the game since the preseason, then you're probably okay to do this. If you've been playing every single Team of the Week challenge up till now, you should have 16 Team of the Week collectibles. Now, what can you do with those Team of the Week collectibles? Well, currently nothing. Keep in mind, we still have the week, uh, the Team of the Week 16 and Week 17 to come out. So in total, you could get up to 18 Team of the Week collectibles. There is a set, and this is every single year basically, they continue to do this. Last year, if you had 15 of those collectibles, you added it into a set and you got yourself a Team of the Year Fantasy Pack that contained an offensive, defensive, and special teams player, and you got to go ahead and choose one. Now, usually it's NAT, so we'll see if it's going to be NAT this year or not. I will say, though, that last year the set actually did give us an auctionable player, which was pretty dang awesome and if you guys have been playing on farm accounts on multiple accounts then maybe you guys are smart to go and play the team week challenges and maybe you have multiple accounts with all the team week challenges done i'm gonna be honest with you though i forget sometimes playing team week solo so i don't even think that i have 15 of these done unfortunately for myself but if you guys did then congratulations to you also we had a team of the year fantasy player pack as well now this one is actually very interesting and maybe something you guys want to go ahead and do Maybe. As you guys can see, for this set, this actually gave you a fantasy pack. Again, kind of like the free one, you know, the specialist, the defense, the offensive player. What you needed to add into this set was actually 293 to 95 overall Team League players and four 89 to 92 overall Team League heroes. Now, could we see something similar? Maybe we do. I'm not going to say we will. I don't know if we will, but. I would not be surprised if we do. So if you guys want to go ahead and invest in some Team of the Week players, you definitely can. But again, complete risk up to you. I'm not saying to go ahead and do it. I'm not saying this set is going to be back in the game. But it wouldn't shock me at all to see EA go ahead and do that. Now, if you guys watched my videos last year, you know I actually spent a ton of coins. And I did this set right here. There was actually an NAT one you guys could do where you only needed 193 to 95. And you only needed 289 to 92. So obviously it was half the requirements to go and do but you got the cards then at i did a bunch of these packs i spent like i don't even know any coins i think it's been like 10 million literally like 10 million coins in this pack opening it was insane uh also with it there is a team of the year offensive player set you had to add 75 game of the year collectibles turning a random 95 to 98 overall team of the year offensive player uh, of course it was an nat one for half of that as well same thing for defense and same thing for specialists now also Last year, we had these things called tokens. If you guys didn't play the game, there were elite tokens and gold tokens. You would add gold players into sets. You would get elite tokens. You would add gold players into sets. You would get gold tokens. Well, using that, we actually were able to go ahead and get ourselves 89 plus overall Team of the Week players, which was really nice. It's really a really, really good set because at this point in the game, there really wasn't much for tokens. 
So this was perfect. This was honestly so perfect for us to go ahead and get. Uh, there also was something for trophies, and then, you know, there was some uniform stuff, so... There's that for it. But honestly, this Team of the Week set was really, really good. And doing that Team of the Week set allowed me to go ahead and do quite a bit of these NAT Team of the Year Fantasy Packs as well. So that's it for the sets when it comes to the Team of the Year. If you guys have been playing those Team of the Week challenges, you can definitely expect to potentially see, you know, a free player. Maybe it's going to be NAT. Maybe it's going to be auction. We don't know. But we already do know that we're going to be getting a free player from if you played all the Team of the Week challenges. Unfortunately, if you haven't been, if you got the game for like Christmas, then you're too late. But we also added Team of the Year challenges. And I'm going to be honest here, with the way they've done challenges this year, it would not surprise me at all. Honestly, it would not surprise me. If we just take a look at the playoff promo, right? As you guys can see, from the playoff promo, we got an NAT 84-93 to overall from every single team in the playoffs last year. Now, if you guys take a look at this year, what did we get? We got an NAT 89 overall, and that's literally it. That is pathetic. So they really took a step down with the NFL playoffs challenges uh, in terms of rewards there, so that's very disappointing. But for the past couple of years, they've always given us an NAT Team of the Year player, 94 to 98 overall, from playing the Team of the Year challenges. So if they take this away, if EA changes this, we're going to have some problems because this is ridiculous if they end up changing it and not giving everyone a free Team of the Year player from playing the solo challenges in NAT. They've done it a lot of times this year, giving us free NAT players, the Mud Heroes challenges, the Mud Superstar. I don't know why they were so stingy with the playoffs, especially when at the beginning of it, the playoff promo challenges actually said free 95, but then they said it was like a glitch with the text or whatever, and then they changed it to 89 overall. Ridiculous. They better make up for it by giving us a free Team of the Year player, and that's basically it when it comes to the sets and also the Team of the Year solos, but there's also, of course, you know, there's going to be some big-time packs in the store. Packs are usually pretty solid. I'm not going to say they're insane because sometimes a pack odds only can be whatever, but you might get lucky, open a bundle, you might get one, two, three Team of the Year player pulls. It is what it is, but let me go ahead and actually show you guys the players because it's not necessarily just the best players. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the Team of the Year players that we actually got last year. Now, as you guys can see, right, if we actually scroll up for a second, I said today through January 23rd, so this is actually from January 14th to January 23rd is how long the promo was actually in the game for last year, which again, I definitely could see the promo dropping around that same time. Which, if you guys are wondering, that was actually a Sunday. So if they want to go ahead and drop it again on a Sunday, it more than likely will be coming out the 13th. I can see it coming the 13th or the 14th, more than likely, though, uh, with the promo. But like I said, these aren't necessarily going to be, like, they don't just go to ESPN and look at, you know, this guy led the league in receiving yards, this guy led the league in touchdowns, this guy led the league in passing yards. That's not necessarily how they do it. Uh, when it comes to team of the year it's not always going to be the absolute best player in their position there may be a couple of guys that were the best player in their position but overall we're gonna get some really good players you guys can see we got adam Thielen at 96 overall he obviously had a very very good year uh, we also got Akeem Hicks at a 95 overall, Alex Mack coming in at 95, Andre Roberts at 94. By the way, keep in mind, this is actually going to give us a player in every single position. So those playoff cards that we got right now who are 95s and currently like the best in their position for like offensive linemen, we're about to get a bunch of 95 plus overall O linemen. It's definitely going to change up quite a bit. Now we did have the NFL 100, which does change a lot of stuff though, but you guys can see we have Bobby Wagner, of course, 92 speed, 93 excel, 96 hit power, 93 block shedding. This is one of those players who was the best in their position for the year, and they got a team of the year card. Brett Kern had a very good year. Chandler Jones coming in at a 94 overall. Chris Jones coming in at a 95. Damon Harrison with 97 block shedding. Darius Leonard, I was honestly kind of surprised we got so many rookies with this team of the year uh, promo last year. Darius Leonard, 88 speed, 91 excel. David Bakhtiari. Uh, we also got Desmond King, who actually was a slot corner. So that was for specialists. Drew Brees was actually the QB at 71 speed, 95 throw power, pretty good throwing stats. George Kittle at Team of the Year tight end. Jamal Adams at Team of the Year safety. James White got third down halfback. Joe Schobert got sub package linebacker. Uh, Juju got slot wide receiver. Kevin Byard, of course, with free safety. Kyle Fuller was a cornerback. Kyle Juszczyk also got the fullback. Leighton Vanderesh, of course for my Cowboys, did actually get a Team of the Year card. I really did not think he was going to because he is a rookie. Marshall Yonda, 96 overall right guard. Miles Garrett, 
97 team of the year. Quentin Nelson also got a 96. Robbie Gold got a 96. Rob Havenstein got a 95. Stephon Gilmore, 95. Todd Gurley, this card was insane. 98 overall. Tyree Kill at a 96 overall with 97 speed. And that was it for the team of the year players that we got last year. So we can definitely expect to see probably the same amount of players again. You know, one QB, one halfback, a couple of cornerbacks, a couple of wide receivers. I have to say, that, personally speaking here, Team of the Year promo is probably my favorite promo of the year. One of my favorites, I think Chris probably number one. Christmas is like so good. But Team of the Year is a close second because we just get a bunch of good Team of the Year players having the solo challenges, allowing us to get a free NAT player. If you played the Team of the Week challenges, then again, you get another free Team of the Year player. That is big time and especially because the players are usually really really good players guys that is basically what we can expect to see from the team of the year promo now like i said i will be doing a team of the year prediction list coming up this week if you guys want to go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know who you guys think will get a team of the year like i said it's not always going to be you know just someone who led the league in rushing yards someone who led the league in passing yards Jameis winston that definitely is not happening, I don't think anyways, because of how, <laughs> how bad he actually had of a year with those interceptions. But besides the point, that is basically Team of the Year promo. Expect some free players, expect those kind of sets. Maybe we get those Team of the Week sets, I think that'd be awesome. We obviously don't have tokens in the game, so they can't really do like a token set for Team of the Year, but I guess we'll just have to see. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the vid, and of course hit that sub button down below. Definitely appreciate if you guys would drop a like on the video. Make sure you check my other videos from today as well. I already did a gameplay this morning on Deshaun Watson and Marshawn Lynch. Last night did Champ Bailey and T.O. Definitely want to check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.